so the last clip was uh, showing how we actually vacuum formed a piece of hips high intensity polystyrene and I'm using the pattern and um, let's check out the video on vacuum forming just showing it to that one what this one's for is actually um, I've decided I'm going to perhaps try to vacuum form some of the other pieces and to do that I need to actually make um, some vacuum form um, pieces basically in a nutshell uh, vacuum forming boxes if I just zoom out and um, pretty much goes together like so so you can see we've got the uh, two sides and the base and we're going to rebate with some housing joints um, through there which I'll show you in a second how I've done mine basically what I've done with mine is I've made boxes to the right sort of size shape so this one will then actually fit the small pieces in so I don't waste so much of the hips and um, it's not complete yet, I haven't put the holes in but it literally is just a box and frame with it so you can take that one out and if you just place that one down and come from the other side um, this box hasn't been completed yet, still need to get another piece of MDF way I'm going to do that is just nip into uh, our local hard store being q if you're in England um, and they usually have loads of this for example this strip um, I bought these strips for a pound uh, it was over two meters long and uh, it was not obviously an off cut and they sell the off cuts off quite cheap and then I rated two grooves um, going down to create a housing joint for these to fit in now if you haven't got a router um, you, other ways you could do it is you could just screw the box together and um, without these being in but it's not ideal um, and of course the other thing you could do is you could just uh, write down a circular saw and put some grooves down that way if you're using thinner board but I'm using 12mm MDF and this is 20mm thick Okay, so this is the bigger boxes. Um, I've done this one two foot by two foot, that's about 60 centimeters um, square. You can see I've drilled in the holes, and yeah, the mountain drilled in here, over a thousand holes here, but I've left this space around the edge, and this has been varnished as well, just protected, but I've left this space around the edge, just so if I need to expand it anymore, um, I can really. So it gives me a bit of a scope there. The other thing I'm going to use this for is a sanding down table. Now all that will mean is I'll take this up to the hoover and as I'm sanding down the dust will be sucked through these areas. It just helps keep the workshop a bit uh, dry as well. So as well as for the vacuum forming base, um, that's what I'm going to intend to use these for. Um, next stage is literally to stick some um, foam around the edge to make a seal and um, to make a bond down there, seal, and then drill a hole around here to connect up to the hoover that will then suck the chamber out. Now although this looks quite sturdy the idea is so the frames will fit in um, as well. I've left a 2 cm or 20 mm gap down here and I intend to use two 9mm um, plates together that will just fit into here to create the vacuum form. Quite a bit of air to go down there and vacuum form that size will cool quite quick, certainly 2 mil. So, um, none of this, by the way, is um, screwed or glued yet. Um, it literally is just how tight the joints are. I've decided to miter the joints, and I intend to, if you look at my drawings, just put some metal brackets down the side here to protect the corners, um, and that bit down there. But it also creates um, a very thin chamber. So, although it is that thick, um, realistically, it's only this air space here that's going to have the air sucked out so it shouldn't take too long to create a vacuum um, into that small area so like I say the next stage is to use some sash clamps and to glue these up onto the side and from there that will be the base um, for the vacuum former and it pretty much is that easy so exactly the same as it is on there is exactly how I've made it here and I'll just take it apart now just to show you the parts Ok so we're ready to glue together, you can see um, I've joined corners to corner, found the centre and then all I've done there is just drilled through with the uh, forcing a bit, the 40 mm forcing bit and that will be where the actual connection goes for the hoover. So 
so I got the Hoover connection and all good stuff to fit and it should fit nicely in there yeah and be nice fit tight okay right um, as you can see I'm ready to PVA as with any uh, furniture um, you can might be able to see I've actually lettered uh, the corners so I know where everything goes so it goes back um, in this right place that's it, that's in the right place. And then what I've done is apply some PVA. Now I use the uh, waterproof adhesive and I've just brushed into there. This is about three coats on this and the trick to using this is to let it soak in and then apply another coat so it's quite dry and then should be fairly tacky and that way it won't slip when you come to glue. Um, so I've laid all the pieces out exactly where they need to go and the next stage is to then put them together and then assemble them using these things called sash clamps and once all that's glued I'll apply some screws and that should be that box complete ok so this is the, uh, the final bit of it now and um, you can see what I've done is um, just use some foam, self adhesive foam, this is actually draft excluder um, it was £5 for 2 metres so I have to slightly run out on here but what will happen is there will be 2 beds and 1 bed onto here and then obviously when that's actually put onto the top it will actually uh, create the vacuum um, I've still got the hole in the bottom um, where the mortar joints are to make them a bit stronger we'll just put some aluminium angle iron on there and put that in and that will help hold this together as well there's not much pressure um, actually it's always caused by this with the air pressure pushing the plastic on so that should be more than sufficient and that is my two foot by two foot um, back former base or sanding base whichever I choose to use and that's what I'm going to be using to make um, the, the legs for the and even the, the biceps hopefully to vacuum form and speed things up and um, trouble is with paper cure is obviously you have to make each one separately what I'm going to try and do is design it so they're symmetrical and vacuum form them and double the speed up and hopefully then I can spend a bit more time with the detail um, smaller box, exactly the same, which isn't quite finished yet um, need to go back to being here and I've got some spare um, 12mm just to do that, but you can see it will quite easily fit in um, this is the uh, Halo pistol, the Magnum obviously the uh, brackets come off it but I need to repair that, it's quite easy to do um, so we can vacuum form something that size and of course then I've done the smaller box just to allow vacuum forming the things small like the pockets and that's pretty much the basis so what will happen with here is we'll actually make the frames next and then finally finish with the heating elements